We've been showing you the progress on our rain chain just adjacent to the backyard farmer garden on East Campus. And there's really no better time to talk about it than after we've had seven inches of really hard, driving, intense rain in Lincoln. What has happened with our rain chain is we got it planted last fall, pretty late in October. Our master gardeners helped with that. We got great um, establishment with our plant material, but we did not mulch and we did not mulch on purpose because had we mulched everything in the rain chain and, and gotten seven inches of rain, the mulch would all have been at the bottom of the hill. What you can see here though, is that we have really excellent drainage in what we call number one and number two at the top of the hill and number three, number four holds water for longer, which means that the percolation into the subsoil is not as good. And this is really the first opportunity we've had to be able to see that what we call our wet meadow does function like a meadow. We have some erosion down that, that uh, sort of top soily soil on the edges of the bank. We will be able to fix that again. Once we get greater plant density, we'll be able to hold those slopes. And that's the whole point of a very densely planted rain chain or rain garden or bioretention or bioswale element in the landscape. The beauty also of what you're seeing though is that the water is slowly diminishing, which means the, the plant roots and the soil are taking up that water. It's captured. It's being cleaned, it is returned then to the land rather than going down the storm sewer system. The plants in the bottom of the rain chain are the ones that will have to tolerate the greatest amount of standing water for the longest period of time. The ones on the slope, intermittent, wet and dry. Ultimately, what we hope to have here then is something that is a beautiful wet meadow. The sedges are doing beautifully. We have a lot of things like the penstemons that will begin to bloom here pretty shortly. The beauty of the lowest wet meadow is that it did not overflow. So even though we had that great intense rain, it did not overflow, wash into the sidewalk. So essentially what we're trying to show you here is on a smaller scale in your own home landscape or in a small commercial setting, you can actually do a pretty simple capture of runoff, hold it, release it, and use that in your landscape.